Hey guys and girls, Mealy Marine Pro, Hugh Cosquella here. I want to talk to you guys about one of the biggest things that's often overlooked by a lot of people, and that's trailer maintenance. And looking for things before you hit the road, looking for things while you're on the road, some of the stuff uh, that I carry with me in case something happens to go wrong while I'm on the road. So starting while we're at home, before we even hit the road, there's going to be a couple things I'm going to be looking for just to make sure everything's going to go well on the road. First thing, to make sure all the straps are tight. We've got our front winch, we've got our safety strap, we have the straps in the back. And then what we're gonna be looking for next is gonna be our brake fluid. We're gonna have clean, good brake fluid and have enough of it. So up here, if you guys wanna come up here and look, on my trailer, this is a Marine Master trailer, this is a Bass Boat trailer. There's a cap right here, it's gone right now, it doesn't really matter, but what we're looking for is this plug. I'm gonna pull this off, you can pry it off, but what we're wanting to look for is fluid to be up and touching the bottom of the plug. When you see it's a little wet right there, we know we have good clean fluid in there. If we look actually inside, We'll see how clean it is. I know Michael at Mealy Marine, a lot of guys come into his shop, they have a lot of problems with their trailers. And that's one of the first things that he looks for is he looks to make sure you have good, clean uh, brake fluid in there. I carry an extra bottle with, with me. I think it's DOT3. Um, making sure you have enough, making sure you don't have any uh, air in your lines. So maybe once a year, once every other season, purge your lines, refill the brakes, make sure they still work. One thing that you can do to make sure that your brakes work uh, on your double, triple axle, maybe your single axle has brakes, is on my trailer, brakes are actually connected with the lights. So to make sure they work, I'll hook the boat up to the truck, close it down, leave the lights unplugged. Uh, this doesn't allow the bypass system to work. So when we try backing up, the front of it's gonna shift back in here, brakes are gonna engage, and the tires are gonna lock up. We're not gonna be able to back up. So that's how I know that my brakes are working. Plug it back in, brakes will release whenever I pull forward we'll be good to go. So that's how I check to make sure that my brakes work. So before we're talking about the brakes and making sure that they're working, we also want to make sure our lights are working. Uh, luckily on my Ford truck and some other cars, they actually will tell you if your lights aren't working. They have a whole uh, setup on the shroud will tell you, hey, your left blinker is not working or whatever. So you can plug it in, throw the hazard lights on in your garage, the driveway, whatever. Come back here, make sure everything's working. Turn your running lights on, make sure the amber running lights and the back lights are lit up um, just to make sure you're not having any problems as you go down the road. If it's not working, I usually just jiggle the plug. Sometimes that works. Sometimes, and I've had it in a couple cars, you blow a fuse inside your truck and you're going to have to replace it. Um, sometimes the ground isn't right. Um, but there's, there's a lot of, we just want to make sure that our lights are working correctly. Another one of the things that I want to look for before I even leave my house is to make sure that my hubs are sealed and greased correctly. So on this trailer, I actually have the vault sealed system. It's a liquid uh, grease bath. It's completely sealed. I don't have to do anything to it. They say maintenance free for five or 10 years or something like that. But there's always problems with stuff like that. So while I'm at my house, I make sure, obviously if we have oil or grease spatter on the outside of the wheel, we know something's wrong. There's an outer seal and an inner seal. On these vault systems, the inner seal is what really fails the most. It gets too hot. So I'm gonna look for that. I'm actually gonna stick my hand inside the wheel I'm gonna feel around, you actually can see it. There'll be a lot of grease. It's just a little dirty right now, but you'll really see a lot of grease if that inner seal has failed. And that's, like I said, that's usually what happens. If we catch it before it, if before everything goes wrong, it's usually fine. Uh, we can pump it full of grease and keep going. Or they'll send you a new kit, send you to a trailer service place. And we'll get the whole thing fixed. The other style of trailer hubs is the conventional grease style. Um, usually people have bearing buddies on there. Maybe just pump it with a, a uh, squirt or two with your grease gun just make sure everything's filled up nice and tight nice and greased so it'll stay cool while you guys are going down the road we'll keep going like i said this is stuff where i'm looking for at my house we've already talked about the straps in the back a lot of boats are now coming with the hydraulic jack plate um these manual jack plates you don't have to worry about it but with the hydraulic we're going to push it all the way down while we're going down the road puts a lot less stress on our bolts on our motor mount everything so making sure that this gap and the motor is all the way down as far as we can go. The other thing we're gonna do, just hit the trim. We can see I've got my motor sticks in there, my motor toter. Just hit the trim, make sure it's rested down there. It's, it, we don't want it bumping while we're going down the road. Um, you'd be surprised how much this thing shakes as you're going down the road. Another big thing that a lot of people say is actually to make sure your trailer's running level. 
Um, I would say do that. I've heard directly from Marine Master, my trailers, to actually run it two inches above level, have my ball two inches above level. Um, and this is really just so if I start to coast, start to go down a little bit of a hill, uh, I actually don't engage my surge brakes and I'm not gonna put my, my hub heated up as much, have my brakes really running hot. Uh, so having it a little bit two inches above level is really good for me. And I've got a three quarter ton truck, so I have enough stopping power to make sure that I can stop if I need to stop. So one thing that I like to do before I leave house is to make sure my bearings are right. If I go on a really rough road or something like that, haven't used a trailer in a while, make sure my bearings are gonna, are gonna be right. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna jack up the trailer a little bit, rock the wheel back and forth. If it starts making an awful noise, something's wrong. The bearings can be broke, busted, something like that. It's not right. Uh, so we're gonna pull it out, make sure everything's not going right. You can also shake the trailer a little bit. This boat's a little heavy, I'm not gonna try too hard, but if it starts making a really awful noise, I'll know something's wrong. Um, this goes kind of what, what I'm about to say is what I carry with me in my truck. Um, so like I said, I carry a jack, I carry a, a four-way, make sure I can take the tires off if I need to take them off. Another thing I'm gonna carry is also gonna be a spare hub. I carry a spare hub with me, this is a CE Smith. Uh, most bass boats is going to be a five by four and a half lug pattern. They carry these at uh, uh, Mealy Marine, galvanized. They carry a bunch of different lug patterns, but it's a pre-assembled, pre-greased tub that comes in a nice plastic wrapping. So I don't have to worry about it getting all over the back of my truck. Um, really easy for me if something does end up going wrong, my bearings burn up, whatever. I know I can pull a hub off real easy, throw this one on. I can get back down the road within 20 minutes or so. Um, another thing. I carry with me is actually a chain. If something ends up going really wrong, I can just pull the what pull the wheel off, chain up the axle, and I can still drive down to make sure I can get to at least a trailer service place, tire place, whatever I need to go. Uh, I don't like driving very far on three wheels. I don't like driving at all on three wheels, but if I have to, I'll go a little bit and I'm not gonna go above 55 miles an hour. So another thing we want to look for before we leave the house is making sure our tires have the right pressure. If you're running too low, you're gonna have a blowout on the side of the road. Running too high, you're gonna increase your stopping distance greatly and not have the right stopping power. Uh, so I always wanna run it at the max PSI. And your max PSI will vary depending on what tire. And if you have a single axle, it'll do a dual axle. It'll actually say on the tire, single, dual. <clears throat> I'm running these at 65. <clears throat> One of the big things about these tires, apart from some of my last tires, is actually the load range. These are load range D. That's just an increased sidewall, um, so if my tires end up do getting a little bit low, I'm not risking that blowout, they're just a little bit more beefed up. So going to a little bit higher load range um, and making sure our tires are, the right pressure is gonna be really key when we're going down the road. Also, I wanna make sure that the spare is actually filled up with air. A lot of times if you end up do having a flat or a blowout, the, the spare is not ready to go, so we always wanna make sure that our spare is ready to go as well. As we start to keep now, as we start to go down the road, uh, every time I stop at a gas station or something like that, I'm gonna make sure, same thing with the motor, just hit the trim down button, make sure all my straps are tight. Another really important thing for me to do is actually come and just put my hand on the wheel itself. Feel how cool it is, feel how warm it is. If it's burning up, if I can't hold my hand there for more than a couple seconds, I know that I might be losing some grease, run a little hot, my, I'm too hard on my brakes. Um, so I just wanna make sure of that. And if we can catch it before something bad happens, that's usually pretty good. Another really good thing to have is Towboat US. Uh, AAA won't cover you if you have a boat and a trailer. So Towboat US will actually come pick you up uh, with a tow truck, take you to a trailer service repair place and get you back on your way. Um, these are just a couple of things that I look for, some of the things I bring with me um, to help me have a good, safe day on the lake boating and fishing.